Hello, my name is Dr. Kulmeet Kunlis and I'm a primary care physician. On my channel, I had a lot of comments about what are the new treatments, if at all available, about tinnitus. And there were a lot of questions regarding stem cell therapy because there was few trials which are undergoing. And as you know, this is one of the most disabling phantom sounds which you hear all the time without any source and it is a very painful experience. A lot of patients have gone crazy, extremely nervous, anxious, depressed. It's rubbing them off their sleep and all the comforts and they are looking for more and more treatment modalities and what if there is anything new is coming up. As we started, this is a very difficult problem and very difficult to treat. Till today, there is not a known definitive treatment about tinnitus. What we know is there are two areas where the research is focused, where we believe is the problem. One, in the inner ear, there are specialized hair cells which convert mechanical energy of sound into electrical energy and which through auditory nerve get passed to the, our brain where the sound is understood and interpreted that these cells are producing these sound waves without any external stimulus. Second area is certain parts we call auditory cortex where this sound is interpreted, why this doesn't get habituated, why the, if the impulses are going, rest of the brain habituates and damps down those stimulus, why this thing is not happening. So those two areas, hair cells and the artery cortex, are the main focus of research these days. There is a common connection that people with the tinnitus have some hearing loss. There are certain frequencies which you may not be aware, which is not interfering with your life day to day. You may have those frequency being lost and your brain is filling in those frequency gaps with this phantom sounds, which we all could be hearing different kind of whether it's ringing, buzzing, hissing, name anything, it can take shape. So three concepts, problem with the hair cells, problem with the artery cortex, and there is a definitely common theme coming out, which we call sensory neural hearing loss, that certain frequencies you are losing and that may be contributing to creating this phantom sound. Because there is no definitive treatment, so there has been a lot of interest in stem cell therapy. These days, trials in animals have been somewhat positive that created a lot of enthusiasm in humans and patients, like when the human trials will start. And I found out a lot of pseudoscience being circulated in the media so I researched a lot, put all the research together so that you get evidence-based information. As we are recording this video, the stem cell therapy has been tried, but the results are very marginal to none. The animal models have shown some improvement and they were helpful, but they are not very helpful in human studies. The problem lies is, as we define a problem in hair cells, artery cortex, or the hearing loss, the people who have hearing loss, the stem cell has been somewhat positive in those cases. But people where we could not pinpoint hearing loss, and we found that there is a predominant problem with the hair cells or the auditory cortex or the area where the sound is interpreted, these stem cell therapies have not been helpful. And then problems are with the stem cells is where to harvest these stem cells, 
how to direct them to go to the inner ear which is a very very small structure and if we are trying to inject or through biotechnologies we are trying to deliver those stem cells into your inner ear they are not focused they are not helpful and then if you have to directly drill through different ways to take it to the inner ear it's an invasive procedure it has to be very precise and the learning curve is very very steep there is a technical problem of delivering stem cells to the area where they should be now comes the question how these stem cells work ideal scenario is that these stem cells they go to your inner ear and they differentiate into hair cells and they start filling in the gaps and then they stop phantom sounds that is the ideal scenario which is not happening there was another theory when these stem cells made it to the inner ear they produce certain chemicals which goes to other hair cells and make them work and that therapies have been tried many times they were encouraging but they are not completely helping to solve this problem so delivery is the issue and then how they work is the issue the differentiation that they differentiate into hair cells is the issue and then there are other immune modulators which has been tried as i'm recording this video i could tell you that there is no trial which is positive for stem cell therapy in tinnitus that comes back to the same dilemma which we always face there is nothing which we could do to stop these sounds or to dampen them what we know is change our response to these sounds on all the existing therapies are focused on changing your response how you respond to these sounds this sounds is bound to drive you anxious sleepless depressed to the point that they rob name any domain of life that gets affected by tinnitus so the medications whether we use some anti anxiety medication anti depressant medication they technically have never been recommended to use it on a routine basis for the treatment of tinnitus but those are the things which we have anticholinergic medication which we use to dampen the sounds are also not very helpful cognitive behavior therapy and the music therapy those are the therapies where the sound is coming in the sound therapy we provide alternative sound so we are confusing the brain with the two different sounds and hopefully the sound which we like is more predominant than the sound which we don't like and that's how the sound therapies work whether what no matter which kind of source which we use to produce these sounds second in cognitive behavior therapy basically the sound is there we are habituating consciously to those sounds and how we react with anxiety anger depression irritation and throbbing in your head all the time with alternative reframing and different way that has been the cornerstone of this treatment. we must focus on hearing if one thing message if i could give you one message in this video is to make sure you get the best audiologist to give you recommendation in terms of he- hearing because that's the only thing which i could search is helpful recurrent referral to ent specialists have not been shown to help so in nutshell as we stand today the trials for stem cell therapy in tinnitus are very marginal to none so far there is no evidence that the stem cells will work we will continue in this direction because we believe regenerative medicine at a given point has to take over and it will help i hope this information was helpful i will see you in one of our next videos i really feel your pain because my tinnitus is intermittent and i do understand when it comes on me how bad you feel but i have been blessed not to be in that much of symptomatic agony the way you have been we 
wish that the science continue to improve the research keep on going and one day we will have a good solution thank you very much